Hey guys, so this is the recap of class 4. I wanted to go over specifically some of the poly painting that we worked on. Um, so here's kind of where we ended with the poly painting for the face. And I'm going to go back and get rid of this. So the first thing that we kind of looked at that I want to make sure everybody's aware of is the difference between RGB and material, right? So uh, if I pop back to the default interface really quickly so preferences, config, restore standard UI, right? So up here you've got RGB, MRGB, and M, right? And like any of these buttons, if you hold control over them, it'll tell you exactly what the button does, right? So if I want to paint on the model, I would choose a color. Uh, let's say I grab my standard brush. And right now I'm set to only sculpt on the model, right? If I turn that or undo that, turn on RGB, now I'm painting and sculpting because RGB and Z add are both turned on. If I want to only paint, I turn off Z add, and now I'm only painting and not affecting the shape. If I want to, <coughs> excuse me, if I want to um, uh, paint a material onto the model, so right now, I can switch materials so if I choose that red wax material you see nothing updates and it's because I have a material already painted on the model so uh, let's say I wanted this model to have this silver foil material on it I can go ahead and choose M up here and now I paint and wherever I paint I get that silver foil material now you should be aware this is gonna have a hard edge right because it's actually taking the faces and tagging them with a material ID right so you're not going to be able to have a soft fall off to blend materials so that you see them interactively like this so um, what you can do to make sure you get everything is I can just go M and come up here and say color fill object and now that fills that entire object so if I solo that object it's now filled with that material if I want to get rid of my material assignment, I can go over here to flat color, make sure M is turned on, and then go up to color, fill object. Flat color is a special kind of material that tells um, ZBrush, hey, you know what? Uh, basically, get rid of all of the material assignments. So now when I change different materials, you know I'll get the same same kind of re reaction so I've been using this zebra paint I have two versions zebra paint and zebra paint less spec so if I go zebra paint color fill object then now you know that's the material that I like to use usually to paint on I find that it's got a, a good amount of contrast but I can still see into the shadow areas that's not always true now the other thing I did with this character is I exploited multiple things at once so I tried to paint with RGB but then also use Z subtract while I was doing that so when you look you can see there's these little crevices and creases and if we look at his painting we can see that the crevices and creases have a slightly darker redder hue right and that was something that I did last with this character so in one of the earlier demos I made this little bust of this bull guy right and I'm gonna turn solo off so we can see his horns and everything so I'm gonna actually paint up the bull guy right now and use the same techniques that I use to paint up the cosmonaut and kind of walk you through it um, and hopefully it's a little nicer because then you'll be able to have the video if you get if you get a little stuck so I'll do that in the next video now